Good morning, everybody, on this Sunday, March 22nd. And the cold in the household has reached the last two standing people. Neil and I both came down with the cold today. I started getting stuffy last night. I'm not as bad as I could be. Um, my ear feels like there's, if you guys have any sort of hearing problems or ear problems, you'll feel like you have fluid in your ear. I feel like I have fluid in my left ear. And what's funny is my left ear feels like it has fluid and it's my right nostril that's clogged up a little bit. So yeah, cold has hit Neil and I. I'm not too bad yet. I expect my worst day to probably be tomorrow. I think I'm where uh, John was at on Thursday and his worst day was Friday. He wasn't feeling real great yesterday either, but I think his worst day was Friday. He was really, really miserable Friday. Um, so that's probably gonna be my tomorrow. So that'll be fun going to work tomorrow. And uh, yeah, but um, it is Sunday morning. We've been going through tissues like mad. So I think I'm gonna stop at Target to see if there's any tissues left and maybe just have John and Neil run in and each get, cause you're only allowed to get one box. Um, have John and Neil run in and each get a box because literally John went through an entire box of tissues in one day. Right? You went through the entire box in one day, right? I've gone through like three tissues. He's gone through two boxes of tissues in, in the last three days. Um, so if Neil and I go through the tissues at the same rate that John does, we're going to be out of tissues real quick. So we're going to try to stop at Target, I think, and have John and Neil both run in and each buy a box of tissues. Because um, <clears throat> we're going to run out of tissues. So um, I think that's the plan on the way to my mother-in-law's house to stop and do that. Um, I got to get back to work today. One day off is, is long enough. I need to get back to work today uh, on... YouTube, where did it go? Hi, honey. Mm. You just want my breakfast. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, so this, once we get home from my mother-in-law's house, we, I'm going to be editing some videos. Um, I never ended up filming a face mask video for tomorrow for Epic Beauty Fail, so I'm going to ask John uh, if he wants to film that later on today. He's right over there, so he heard me talk to you guys about it. Um, if not, I just won't post a video tomorrow. It's fine. I have plenty of videos to post. Um, and what I could end up doing is just posting a, an unboxing tomorrow, an unboxing on Tuesday, and an unboxing on Thursday because I did get my FabFitFun and I filmed that. So I definitely have videos that I can post and if need be, I can post, you know, the face mask video next week. But I definitely have plenty of videos. So it's not like I'm lacking videos. It just was the plan was that I was going to post the face mask video tomorrow. But honestly, you can see my nose is starting to get really, really red from blowing. Um yeah you can see my nose and John's nose is really red from blowing his nose too so um <clears throat> I don't how, know how nice the videos will look if we <laughs> tried to film a face mask video today so maybe we'll wait on that until next weekend and um this week I'll just post all of my unboxing videos um I think that's probably the best idea to do rather than try to film that today when we're both not feeling 100% I'm not feeling bad I'm just blowing my nose a lot and my ears all clogged up from the fluid um Anyway, that's where we're at on Sunday morning at 11.10. I'm not doing a foundation review, obviously, because I'm blowing my nose a lot. I knew that was going to happen, so that's fine. I plan to put any foundation reviews that I was going to film on hold until later in the week. Maybe I'll film one on Thursday, maybe, depending on how I'm feeling by then. If, if my nose, my, if the cold has run its course by midweek, then I'll probably do a foundation review on Thursday. Maybe I'll do one Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to play it by ear. I have, like I said, I have two or three already filmed um, for the next couple of weeks. So I'm not like desperate in need of one. So I just like to stay a little bit ahead because I don't want to risk, um, you know, being a Thursday and not having one for Friday. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. I have a vitamin C. I'm going to take a vitamin C here. Um, even though I do take a mul at night, I take a multivitamin, one a day multivitamin. I take a standalone vitamin D pill because my vitamin D was low the last time I went to the doctors. So she recommended me taking a vitamin D. And I take my antihistamine, all three of those at night. I do have vitamin C pills sitting around here though. And we have some uh, vitamin C m immune booster, like cough drop kind of things too, that are sugar free. Um, that we've been taking, but I think I might take this vitamin C pill to boost my vitamin C. Um, <clears throat> doesn't hurt, right? I mean, for years I used to take vitamin C, vitamin D, um, and then everything else. I'd switched over to the, the one a day pill, but I've heard 
different people say that um, the, the multivitamins really are not as effective as like individual vitamins, like pills and like a vitamin C pill versus the vitamin C in a one a day kind of a thing. I don't know. That's what I've heard. We got another doggo that came in. She hurt my feelings this morning. She came into the bedroom and like I was standing in the doorway over there, that door right there. I was standing in the doorway. She comes down the hall and squeezes between my leg and the door frame, doesn't even acknowledge me and jumps up on the bed to talk to John. So I was so sad. Mom's only second best. So mom's only second best. Anyway, yes. We're gonna go ahead and go about our day. Like I said, it's about 11.15. I'm gonna take my vitamin C and then I think we're gonna get going in a couple of minutes. Um, and I, I think that my, my plan at least, I gotta make sure John's okay with it, is stopping at Target and having like the, him and Neil run in and buy a box, each, each buy a box of tissues, so. Anyway, that's it. I will see you guys later, bye. All right, y'all, so it is four o'clock in the afternoon. John and I have just spent the last, what, like hour and a half-ish? about last hour and a half talking about starting a garden we and we really don't agree but no the problem is is that i have a picture in my head of what i wanted wanted to look at to look at and john has a picture in his head of what i wanted to look at like i was thinking that i wanted it truly raised so that you didn't have to get down on the ground to do any work john's looking at it as the sides of it are raised but that you still have to sit on the ground or on your knees to do the work. I think that given how lazy we are, it's more likely that if it's at waist height, we are more likely to take care of it in that regard. And the Beth and Plenty, and the things that um, Jessica has picked out have natural weed defenders. So. Yeah, they have little tops on them. Um, so we've been going back and forth. Though. And we've come up with a several different options, but we're looking for the most economical as well to get us what we want. And the sticking point is potatoes. Now, I don't need a lot of potatoes, but the boys all like potatoes. I love potatoes. Don't get me wrong. I love potatoes. But I really can't eat them. Not that they don't, they don't spike my blood sugar, uh, at least the, the several times that I've tried. And they're not overly caloric either. No, but they're definitely high in carbs. But, I guess because they're natural carbs, they don't spike my blood sugar. I don't know. I've tried it a couple of times. I haven't tried my blood sugar recently after eating potatoes um, to see if they'd still spike my blood sugar or not. But, um, the other times that I've tried, they have not. Well, so, um, I think we're going to start with maybe some lettuce. Maybe some green beans. That's a big maybe there. Because John's not a huge fan of green beans. Yeah, but I like fresh green beans. We could put green beans on peas. You like peas. I do like so we get to put both of them. Can I use these yep. to clean up the little the dust I have? Yep. Yes. The, that's the method. Yeah. Those are cleaning, not disinfecting. I don't. Need so if you're just looking for them to clean, yeah. I'm just looking to get rid of like the yeah. dusty area. That's fine. Um. So I think maybe we'll do one planter with green beans and peas in them. We'll do a planter with tomatoes and peppers in them. And then what else do you think? That's it. Maybe one more. Uh, we'll look we around at two, seeds. I, we can do two tomatoes and peppers. Or we can do one with tomatoes and one with peppers. Yeah. Because I'm getting into tomatoes. I like tomatoes. That's true. You have been eating them a lot more recently. And um, I definitely am into peppers because I'd like to maybe try some hot peppers. Uh, okay. Maybe. So we could do one planter with peppers and one planter with tomatoes in it. Now, my father also recommended onions. but Well, I said onions and you said no. But you don't like onions. Anymore. I don't like onions. So it's like... But... But they're used to flavor almost everything. Yes. So we might try onions. And I don't mind onion pepper or onion powder. Yeah, but that's a big step from growing onions. Well, I'm not telling you you have to do onion powder. I'm just saying that I don't mind onion powder. I just don't like onions. Anywho, I think we're going to run to Lowe's real quick. They do... What we're talking about doing is getting a... Um, picnic table. Picnic table. And these, we could put three planters on the top of the picnic table. Um, if we wanted to do more, we could do like some on the side seats and stuff, but we could fit three within the size of the picnic table. 
the top of the, the actual table table. So we could easily do three planters and the picnic table. Um, We're going to have to buy some stain. Yeah, we will have to buy, buy a little container of stain. It said the only thing that's not stained is the top. Everything else is stained? Well, it's not stained. It's waterproof. Everything treated. else is... It's treated. Everything else is treated but the top? But the top. Non-treated top is safe for food products. Legs treated to provide protection against rot, mold, decay, and termites. Oh, okay. I mean, you can stain the whole thing, but everything else is treated. It's just the top's not treated. And we can pick that up? At the store? At yeah. Lowe's? Yeah, you can buy stain or water stain. No, no, no. I mean, like, this is available at our store? Yes. 11 available today at our Lowe's. Okay. And the planters, there's 23 available today at our Lowe's. Cool. So I think maybe you, you think, well, let's look at the seeds. Let's go to the seeds area yeah. and look through it and see what we want to do. Like I said, maybe we'll do one planter with green beans and peas, one planter with tomatoes, and one planter with peppers. Maybe lettuce. And lettuce in with the tomatoes. We could do that. Lettuce in with tomatoes. Because tomato plants are very prevalent. They they produce, produce. a lot. Yeah. Productive. Yeah. Productive, that's the good word. So Robust. Yeah. They're so hot, tomatoes see. and lettuce. And then peppers and you can do multiple different types of peppers. Yep. And then green beans and pea and like sugar snap peas or something like that. I think we have a plan. We sort of do. We haven't figured out how to do potatoes yet, or carrots, because the planters are only 10 inches deep. So I don't know how... To... I think we could probably pull off carrots. They just wouldn't be very big. They wouldn't grow to be very big. I don't know how you do it with the, the, the thing that they've got, babe. The way they have those covers. I don't know that you can do lettuce with those covers. So it might be that that's we have to That's lettuce do one. that's pictured right there. Is it? Pretty sure. Okay. We'll talk about it when we get there. Probably not. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna we practice. Talk a lot. I we're gonna think we're practice gonna, we're social distancing. Shunning. We're gonna shun each other. We're gonna practice social distancing. We we did. All right, we're gonna go to Lowe's. We'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, update at ten fifteen in the evening. Um, my cold is getting worse. I'm starting to hear it in my throat because it's moving. I've always heard, like, as it moves down your body, that's your body, like, processing it. Have you ever heard that? Yes. So, like, it may start up here, but then it moves into your throat, and then it moves into your lungs, and then it's gone. Like, that's how colds usually work for me. Anyway, long story short, I'm starting to sound like I have a cold today. So, <clears throat> I'm a couple days in. Well, this is my first major day. I expect it'll be gone by mid-week, by mid uh, week, so... No breathing machine tonight for bed, I can tell you that, because I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to breathe. So um anyway, update. We went to Lowe's. We bought a picnic table, which we pretty much we left everything in the car because it's supposed to rain. It's like a hundred percent chance of rain tomorrow. And the picnic tables that they sell, um, the table comes untreated, but then the rest of the wood is treated. But we were talking about it, and it's like it's a wood picnic table. So if we want to make sure that it like stays as long as it can, we decided to buy uh, like a stain slash sealant. So what we were talking about is wh why we left it in the car was that it didn't make sense to pull it out of the car right now because it's just going to rain tomorrow. And then I think Tuesday and Wednesday is supposed to be dry, and then it's supposed to rain Thursday and Friday as well. But we wanted to be able to have it have a chance to dry after we stain it and we weren't sure if it's going to it was going to rain this evening so long story short we left the stain the br we bought a brush um the the ta the table and the yeah the planting we got 3 we ended up only getting 3 i thought we might get 4 or 5 but we ended up getting 3 um planters so and then we got, we got what, two types of lettuce. We got regular lettuce, or iceberg lettuce, romaine, tom plum tomatoes, or Roma tomatoes, excuse me, Roma tomatoes. We got two types of peppers and green beans. So we got six different things, um, and we figured we would plant it across the three planters. So I think we're probably going to do the beans and the tomatoes in one we got no we got seven what what was the other thing we got two types of peppers of tomato yeah a carrot yeah a carrot. carrot 
Um, so we'll probably put the two peppers in one. The we'll probably put the carrots, tomatoes, and green beans together in one. And then the last one, do the we got romaine lettuce and lettuce. So put the two lettuces in one, the carrots, tomatoes, and green beans in the second one, and then the two different types of peppers in the third one. And we're not going to plant them. I mean, you're not supposed to plant them until like May anyway in this area because you're supposed to wait until like the frost is done. So John actually started some. some of the seeds in like a little bit of dirt in the kitchen. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but we're really testing out the viability. It, like, uh, it's the tomatoes and the peppers mm -hmm. that I wanted to start mm -hmm. so that they had a little bit of a plant going on only because that's normally what you plant. You don't start them out as seeds. Yeah. The carrots, the celery or the carrots, the lettuce and the green beans, green beans all start as seeds. Okay usually tomatoes and peppers you start as plants with a plant so john started those off we'll in, in the house did you put them in the garage in the garage but they're in a like a plastic container that's going to help keep the heat okay so anyway john started a couple of the seeds you didn't use the whole package of seeds though no 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 um so yeah so we, we, we're, we're going to, we're going to plant some fruit and some vegetables, not fruit. I guess tomato technically is a fruit, but we're going to plant some vegetables. Um, we ended up not going with the potatoes because they need two feet. According to my father-in-law, who's been a farmer his whole life, uh, he was a farmer. And then even as an adult, when he moved away from the farm, he was, he always had a garden. He always had a garden, right? Pretty much. Yeah. I'm big into potatoes. So we decided to skip potatoes. However, my sister-in-law, who only lives like five minutes from us, um, always does a garden. And I'm sure if we would volunteer to help out maintain the garden, she'd be happy to plant some potatoes in her garden. She actually has two acres of land where she lives. So she's got quite a bit more uh, land area than we do. Um, and her property doesn't have a road in the front and a road in the back like we do um actually behind her property is a farm which i think at some point will probably sell out to a neighborhood and the access road to get to the farm is actually on her property so at some point in the future maybe not anytime soon she's lived there for 20 years um because she got married the year after john and i so she's lived there for 20 years. Um, at some point that farm will probably sell out to a neighborhood and she'll have a road beside her house instead of a large spot of grass that grows too long. Um, and the farm behind her will end up being a neighborhood most likely at some point. Like I said, it might not be for another 20 years, but, um, anyway, she has a two acre lot and she puts a decent sized, yes. uh, um, Garden. garden thank you that word was escaping me a decent sized garden in the back they plant all sorts of stuff they do green beans they do peas they do potatoes they do a whole bunch of different types of squash like my one nephew he plants squash and then in the fall he'll actually put them along the road like a table along the road and um like sell them for like a dollar or 50 cents or whatever <laughs> Um, and they take very little work, but he puts them along there in the fall when people are looking to decorate for Halloween and they'll stop and, you know, pick them up and leave a dollar or something. Yeah. He, he makes a couple of bucks. So, um, anyhow, uh, so that's where we're at. We're going to have some fresh fruit or fresh vegetables this yep. summer. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Actually, I've been bugging John to do a garden for a long time for many, many years. <laughs> But I looked at it this way. If the lettuce actually grows and if the tomatoes actually grow, I will eat them because I have salads five days a week, pretty much. Now, we'll see. I lost, I don't know if I told you guys this morning, but I lost over nine pounds in five days on the carnivore challenge. Now, today I ate very many more calories than I have been eating for the last five days. A lot more calories. <laughs> a lot more calories. <laughs> um... So I've eaten a lot of calories today. Um, 
so I'm sure I probably gained some of the weight back already, like immediately, but I was very encouraged by that. And I am probably going to have to do something along the lines of streamlining my diet if I want to continue to lose weight. Like I'll never get rid of everything, but just be more cognizant. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping I'm not feeling bad tomorrow. I probably will, but I'm hoping I won't. If you don't. We also found tissues at Rite Aid and they don't have a limit that you can only buy one box. So we picked up two more boxes of tissues at Rite Aid because this box right here was brand spanking new last night. <laughs> we literally just opened it yesterday and it is more than half gone. It is more than half gone. So this t tissue box will probably be empty tomorrow. Um, so we're going through them pretty fast because Neil's sneezing too. So between John still having a runny nose and me sneezing and blowing my nose and Neil having a cold too, we've been just like flying through the tissues. So I'm a little concerned. Philadelphia uh, put a shelter in place notice in today. Which means that the rest of the state is probably not far behind. And what stinks is that we've been jumping up significantly over the last couple of days. Um, pretty much a, a hundred cases a day. The thing is that most of them are in Philadelphia and now in Pittsburgh, but most of them are in Philadelphia. Um, our county, knock on wood, has been at 11 since last Monday or last Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday last week. So it's been steady for the whole week. Um, a couple of counties around us have gotten a few cases. Like there's one case, county around us that got has, I think, nine. And there's one that has like four and one that has like two and one that has one and one that has like three. So like a bunch of the counties around us have a handful of cases, but not a ton. Um, it's really Philadelphia County and the surrounding counties around Philly. And the Pittsburgh area, Allegheny County and the Pittsburgh area that have been really growing, um, significantly. Um, I think because the people around here, there's so much space. Like we live in an area that's really quiet, you know, we have a half an acre. My sister-in-law has two acres. Um, everybody in my neighborhood, like I think the smallest lots, the, the newer lots in the newest part of the neighborhood, their building is just shy of like a third of an acre. So you can go outside, walk around your yard, you can stay in your house, you can um, go walk in the neighborhood. We went for a walk yesterday in the neighborhood and we didn't have any, there was a lot of people out with like their pets or doing stuff in their yard. We had no problem staying six feet or more away from people. If we were walking down the street and somebody on the street, we crossed the street, that's it. So it, we didn't have a problem there. Um, there's plenty of space. So I think that's the thing is that we don't live in a big city. So, you know, we're not walking down the hallways where someone else in our apartment complex might have been walking and coughing. You know, we aren't in an elevator with a bunch of people. We live in a more, rural. well, not even rural. We're suburbs, you know, so we have space. So it's not like we're on top of each other. It's not like we have to have shared areas. We don't have to use laundromats. You know what I mean? Like we're very um, lucky in that regard in that we don't have those things. So I'm not saying that the cases won't grow. Um, none of any, nobody in the house, we all, t we all took our temperatures today. No one in the house had a fever. The closest was Nicholas was at 99 instead of 98.6. Um, and I think Nicholas has a tendency to run a little high, like 98.6, 98.8 on a regular basis. Um, Neil and I actually have a tendency to run closer to 97. Um, but Nicholas, Nicholas doesn't ha run lower. John runs a little bit high normally too, like 98.6, 98.8. Because you were like 98.8, right? Yeah. Yeah, one year was 98.8. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things where i mean everybody not everybody is 98.6 temperatures will uh, vary a little bit but no one in the house has a fever we all have these head colds these sinus colds but none of us have fevers well nicholas is already over his cold but none of us have fevers so um i did read somewhere that they said that a symptom of coronavirus could be a runny nose 
but none of us are having problems breathing. Sorry, my nose is running. None of us are having problems breathing. None of us are running a fever. And I think that a fever is a sure sign. So if, if for example, Nicholas had it last weekend, like he started with a cold that morphed into the whole full-blown virus, I would expect him to be having problems breathing this, this weekend or like chest pains and he's not. So I really don't think we have the virus. I think we just have head colds, which is normal this time of year. Um, yeah. I'm sure the cases will grow, but my mother-in-law is looking at canceling her trip to UK, which she was really looking forward to um, in August. And she's looking at canceling that. Right now we're still holding on to our beach vacation which we're supposed to go with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and her kids. We're holding on to that for now, but I think we'll just play that by ear, right? You think if we get into May and things are looking bad, we'll cancel? Probably. Yeah, I think we have to have the final payment in 30 days in advance or something like that. So we'll have to make a decision in May. My mother-in-law is canceling her birthday party, which she was very much looking forward to, but we're going to be looking to, re uh, to reschedule that. Your sister's going to look to schedule it the last weekend in September or the first mm -hmm. weekend in October. So, plus my, um, my, my mother-in-law's sister and brother live on the West Coast and my camera's about to stop. So my, my mother-in-law's sister and brother live on the West Coast and they're like, we're not flying in and the earliest in the fall, in. you know, the earliest they'll fly in is the fall. So that's why she's looking at scheduling it for the fall. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. So my sister-in-law is going to call the the place that we booked. Well, not I, I don't have a place. I don't have a role in this, but I'm just saying we because I view my in-laws as my family. <laughs> Whether they feel I'm part of their family or not, I don't know, but I view them as my family. Um, so anyway, long story short, sister-in-law is going to call and rebook that uh, for the fall. So Hopefully. Hopefully. My mother-in-law really wants to have this party. Sort of. No, she does. She does. But she is she is kind of getting spooked about the flying part. So she, I think she is going to cancel her trip to to the UK. She hasn't officially done that yet, but I think she probably will. Yes. Um, but we are we are leaning towards keeping keeping the the shore vacation. As long as it's available. Yeah. yeah. If we have to cancel that, I don't know how I'm going to use all my vacation time this year. I have four weeks of leave. I worked at my company so long. I've worked at my company almost 10 years. This year's actually 10, no, next year's 10 years. This year's nine years. I've worked at my company nine years. Next year will be 10. And I have n technically 19 days of vacation. So not quite four weeks, um, but all but four weeks. So um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to use that all. If like, a week of it was planned for April, a week of it's planned for June, July, that for that last week in June when we're going to shore, a week of it was planned between Christmas and New Year's. And then I was going to have like, I was still going to have like four days to use throughout the year, like the day after Thanksgiving and, you know, maybe a day at our anniversary or a day for my birthday, you know? So I've got, I, I, I just don't know how I'm going to use it all. I don't know how I'm going to use it all. If, especially if the vacation in, in July gets, can June, July gets canceled. Um, I just don't know how we'll, I don't know how I'll use it all. <laughs> so lots of ramifications. We are wanting, wondering today about Hershey Park because the boys all have Hershey Park passes, <laughs> how Hershey's going to handle it. Anyway, I've been rambling for like 15 minutes today. I am yeah. thankful that we got to see all of my in-laws. Like everybody was there today. Like all the all whole family. Stuff. Huh? Yeah, one last time. For, yeah, yeah for, it's, this is the last time we're going to see them until Easter. My my sister-in-law is going to have us all over for Easter dinner. Um, and so that won't be until April 12th. So that's the next time we'll see everybody. So that'll be it. I hope today was better than yesterday. I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.